Hello guys, welcome back to another video and today Luton Town have, well not today, yesterday Luton Town have broken their transfer record on 26 year old goalkeeper Simeon Slugger. Hopefully I've said his name correctly but yeah we have broken our transfer record, a record which has been going on for about 30 years now and yeah 1.5 million euros, 3 year contract, new goalkeeper. Now this goalkeeper, I'm, I'm just going to say throughout the whole video just to help me out, I'm just going to say Simeon as I know I'm going to like at some point muck up his name throughout the whole video. But anyway, Simeon has played European football which I find amazing that we have signed a, a player who's played in European football. I don't remember the top of my head the last time Luton have done that or if we've ever actually have done that. But yeah, signing a European goalkeeper, he's got, obviously he's got to have something about him to play European football. He played 39 appearances last year. He's ranked number one goalkeeper in Croatia in their like in their first division league. He's ranked number one. And the fact is we brought him to Luton, it's just incredible that we brought in a number one goalkeeper in a league to come and play in the championship. It's, for me, that... It is kind of mind-blowing and I'm not used to seeing Luton ever doing this. But I think it's a fantastic signing. I can't get over the fact is that we've actually spent this amount of money on a goalkeeper. And to be fair, we have to start spending money now as a championship club. Because other championship clubs are doing exactly the same thing. They're splashing the cash out. Obviously, we can't splash as much cash as what they are currently doing. But we have to spend it wisely. And I personally think... We have spent our money wisely for Simeon Slugger. Now, Simeon Slugger, he actually suits the way we currently play our football. He likes to play out from the back. I spoken to a Croatia like journalist, and he said that he's very commanding. He's very he's vocal. He actually had like a short spell as being a captain for his side back in Croatia as well. And for me, he's 26. For a goalkeeper, he's still got plenty of years left in him. Still got time to improve. And he has competition. He's got James Shea, who arguably has been treated very harshly because when you like for a strike like for example, a striker, when he gets obviously the like top goal scorer in the league, you don't expect him to be dropped the following season. And Shea, he's won the golden glove, you know, he's joint golden glove with the Barnsley goalkeeper. You don't normally expect the goalkeeper to get dropped, but however, just like myself and other fans, I just don't think Shea is at the level of championship quality. Shea had a very good defence in front of him. Yes, Shea obviously deserves a lot of credit. It wasn't always down to like the defence. I remember like the game against Rochdale away. He literally kept us in that game. I'm surprised we didn't lose that game by like three or four nil. We were absolutely like dreadful that day. And Shea kept us in it. He made keys like he made important saves against Portsmouth as well. You know, so throughout the season he has popped up with very key like saves throughout the season. However, there are times during the season where he has made a few mistakes, i.e. the game at Shrewsbury comes in mind but he just put the ball down. And yeah, there's probably a few more, but I just can't think off the top of my head. But yeah, he has made mistakes as well. And there are times as well during the season where I feel like he should be doing better with certain goals. He should be saving those. Whereas I think a more better quality goalkeeper would would have done it. It's really hard as a goalkeeper as well. Because if your team goes on a 26 game like unbeaten run. There are going to be times where you lose concentration. And obviously that is down to him to not lose that concentration. But yeah I felt at times he did. And that led us to concede a few more goals than what we should have done. But we won the league, that shouldn't matter anyway, but I'm just saying that as a goalkeeper, that I think is the reason why Shea is not going to be number one goalkeeper for this upcoming season, and bringing in Simeon, I think is a perfect decision which we needed to make, and I think Simeon will be our number one goalkeeper for this season. However, for Shea as well, if Simeon has a bad run of games, a bad run of form, gets injured, Shea's always going to be there, well, unless we sell him, to step in and obviously do what he does best and be a good goalkeeper. With having four goalkeepers at the club, I think at least one of them will go. I think Steck is the man who's going to be going. You know, Steck can obviously, is more likely to go in my opinion. More clubs are going to be more after him as 
he can play as he has played foreign football. I don't think it's less likely for sh like for some reason it's less likely for English known players to go foreign places. We're obviously seeing it recently with young players. However, I just don't think Shea's likely to go. I think Steck is more likely. I just don't think he's rated enough. I think at, at first when Steck was at the club, he he was like he impressed a lot. However, he's too inconsistent. He makes too many mistakes and. I think it's the correct decision for us to let him go. He's got a year left on his deal. And if we can get some sort of money back for him. Well, we got him on a free transfer anyway. But if we can get some money for him, then I think that would be good business for us. And also, we've got a youngster, Harry Eisted or Isted, at the club. He's most likely going to go out on loan. He's a very good goalkeeper for the future. So there we have it, we signed our brand new goalkeeper on a three year deal. Like I said, I'm so happy that we brought him in. I think he's going to be a massive addition to the squad, he's going to improve the squad massively. A goalkeeper can win you games, can keep you up. And for us, like obviously surviving in the league, not getting relegated, he can help us do that. So I think it's a fantastic signing and well done 2020 in bringing, in bringing this goalkeeper in. For the rest of the transfer window, I still believe we need to bring in a couple more players. I feel like a right back is needed. Luton and I are currently at the moment are linked with a player called Dion Cools. I think I've said his name correctly. But yeah, he's actually got a really good name. So I wouldn't mind having him at the club. But anyway, right back, 23 years old, plays in the Belgium first division, played Champions League football, very experienced, can get him on a cheap as well. Uh, I think the fee has been rumoured to be around about 800 to 1 million euros. The Dion Calls has just recently been, he's not first choice right back anymore. Uh, I think a dip in form has led him to be second choice. He's an attacking full back. He can play right wing, left wing as well. And I think he'd be a great addition to the squad if we can bring him in. It's up to the club if they're willing to spend that amount of money. But yeah. I think he's a fantastic addition if we can bring him in. He, he'll be replacing Jack Stacey and he'll be number one right back for us. Player who's played in the Champions League, he can't be that bad anyway. So, yeah, if we can bring him in, that would be brilliant. I think like I feel like we need a striker as well. And I do think we are a little bit light in the midfield. But, yeah, but for me, if we can get in a right back and a striker before the window like closes, that would be brilliant. Luton are also linked with a centre-half, um, former AFC Wimbledon player. His name's called Deji. I can't pronounce his last name. But, yeah, we're linked with... He was on trial with us. Um, I think he still currently is on trial. I think he's going to be going to Portugal with the squad as well. Former AFC Wimbledon player. Play, played against Bays and Stoke. And, yeah, I think he'd be a great addition to the squad as well. We need um, quality and depth within the squad. And if we can bring him in, that'd be great as well. 26 years old, if I'm, if my memory is correct. And he can also play across the back four as well. So, yeah, we can bring, like, a couple more players in to toughen our squad up a little bit. That'd be brilliant. But, yeah, we've got about two, three weeks left of the transfer window. Bring these players in. And, personally, I'd be confident. If we can bring those type of players in, I will be confident that we can stay up for this upcoming championship season. But anyway, guys, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Drop a like if you did. Comment down below your thoughts on our brand new goalkeeper. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.